Lindanese, Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp have been back on for more than 24 hours. But Monday's six-hour shutdown is still lingering in the minds of Nigerians and other people around the world. It's a reminder of the experience of 2019 when Facebook shut down for 24 hours, its biggest outage to date. This is how some Nigerians felt about the recent blackout. I was angry because I was expecting some messages from WhatsApp and like, like some pictures on Facebook. So I was really upset, but I have nothing to do. There's no way of uh, uh, inform getting information and or uh, passing information to somebody. You don't be asking people, please, what is happening? And, uh, most people, like my wife yesterday, she was very, very angry. But then, what can we do? I thought it was network thing. I brought out my battery, reset, and do the do every manual stuff. But it's still the same thing. I'm like, okay, maybe it's a problem. We are supposed to have an event yesterday, so it actually affected us getting to reach our people on time. So we had to be using text messages. I was like, how do we get these people? It affected us a lot. We ended up, people didn't turn up, you know, as much as we have expected because we couldn't reach them, especially on WhatsApp and, of course, on Facebook too. I was expecting a message from my sister in Ibado. So I couldn't send messages to her. She couldn't send to me, so I was wondering. So I kept quiet. So it was this morning that um, I read on my WhatsApp chat that um, life can be stopped like that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.